Congrats on your acceptance into the Honors Program. My name is Cole. And my name is Rebecca, and this is your glimpse into the Honors First Year Colloquium Experience. First Year Colloquium Group, we go to lectures every Tuesday, and the first half of the lecture is different guest speakers every single week. Sometimes it's the head of a history department, sometimes it's Dr. Kaplan herself. And then after the lecture, we go into our separate breakout groups where we talk about just how our week has gone, our highs and lows of the week. Um, we also talk about what the lecture was about, of course, and then we talk about our different service projects. The different breakout groups in colloquium, we have clothing drive, we have mentors, and they go help the refugee students with all their schoolwork. We have sports coaches who just go help the kids after school. Just, it's basically a huge PE class where they just run around and they have a lot of fun with the refugees. My favorite experience was probably retreat because we bonded like so quickly and everyone had a really good time. And like the first day we all did face masks in the atrium. So that was probably the best part. Now like we all really enjoy what we're doing together out here. So my name is Sydney Wissinger and I'm a facilitator for the Colloquium Film Group. My name is Jack Davis and I'm also a facilitator for the Colloquium Film Group. I wanted to create an experience for first year students that I felt like would impact them just beyond one semester in the colloquium. You know, I really work hard to develop individual relationships with every single one of my students, you know, and I think that, you know, shows in the beginning of every class, Jack and I do highs and lows absolutely religiously. <laughs> the best advice that I could give to an incoming freshman coming into the honors program is also to seek out your resources. Um, you, it is very easy in college to be the person that lays low and slides by and kind of just does the minimum in your classes and does the minimum in everything. And you can get by college that way. You can graduate um, and you can get your degree. But if you truly want an experience that is going to uh, change you as a person and that's going to make lasting, impactful change on the group, the people around you, you need to be seeking out those high impact um, learning opportunities. I'm Catherine and as a creator I have two colloquium sections that I create for so that's right now it's the film and the event sections. It's really wonderful the honors community that's created every year. You have your facilitation groups and that's its own little 20 person community and then you have the community room and you get to meet and you know interact with um, honor students from freshmen to seniors so I think overall just that community and interaction with the staff is fantastic. My name is Noah Dedeo and I'm the sports coaches facilitator. If I could give one piece of advice to incoming honor students it would be to explore like get outside a queue really uh, dive into the campus and see what kind of research or clubs you can find. The greatest benefit of being in honors I think is the community and the support you have because not only do you have uh, your own dorm, you, you have uh, the advisors and Dr. Kaplan, General Tryon, and everyone in the honors office to help you as opposed to everyone else on campus who doesn't have that resource. And not only that, but you have a, a greater uh, financial support for things like study abroad and research. My name is Lawrence, and I facilitated for fundraising. If somebody was nervous or unsure about honors, I would say it's not what people think of when you hear the word honors because in high school that was uh, that had a certain connotation to it like you take honors or maybe like AP dual enrollment classes I think it's very different it's a different experience it's a different um, there's a different end goal where honors in high school it's strictly kind of academic but honors at UNF at least is very community minded so I would say if you're unsure of or nervous of honors that rest assured that the, the aims of the class and of the Honors College itself, like the things that we do, um, the community involvement and the course like colloquium that you're required to take your first semester, that helps you. That's a good way to kind of, like I said for me, that helped me get plugged in. So it's, it's kind of like a head start to get you involved on campus. I feel as if we have definitely helped our uh, kids that we work with every week in their soccer skills 
and their sportsmanship. The difference we made in the community of honors would probably be we've impacted the kids the most. We've talked to them a lot. They've become more welcoming of each other. They like us a lot. Um, I would say they're better at soccer because of us, <laughs> which isn't very good for the community. But they're more welcoming. Definitely nicer to each other and talk more than the first day we had. Uh, my name is Patrick Heffern and I facilitate a defense. One thing I wish I knew coming in, definitely just the importance of that adaptability. And because coming into honors, the colloquium class, I didn't know really what it was or what I would be doing. But as I kind of got into it and started to sink into my little special area there where I was happy, I had a lot of fun, I met a lot of people, I had a lot of great experiences, and then even into facilitation. Um, I, I wasn't originally planning on ending up where I am now, but I'm really happy, so I'm glad that that adaptability was something that I discovered. So the assignment structure for the course, so it starts off, and for the first half of the semester, the assignments are like the retirement bio or why are you here essay. And then there's these small assignment grades that all of these are put together into one category. And these are graded on a check system. So it's check, check minus, and check plus. And whenever you get a check minus, you can always resubmit based on the feedback from your grader for a check. So what we're trying to do with the assignments is to skill build and scaffold. So the first half of the semester are really those assignments that you're working with. What are we expecting from you before we have those major assignment grades? And by the time you're getting to the major assignments grades, you've had so much time to work with your grader to work on fixing those areas that you need to fix and strengthening the areas that you're doing really well in before you have something that actually really impacts your grade. The main reason why I personally joined honors is because like I really wanted to have like that community vibe and like throughout high school I was in AP and I was in honors classes and I figured I might as well just like uh, join or at least apply and originally my roommate was an honors student and she encouraged me to apply so and I wasn't sure if I was going to get in because my test scores weren't great but they were really just looking for kids that were going to like um, give to the community and like give to the honors program rather than just based on their test scores, which I think is so amazing. In colloquium, you're going to learn a lot through the books, and you're going to learn a lot through the reading and the uh, lectures and the exercises, but where you're going to learn the most is in those opportunities um, where you get to interact with people face to face, and you get to make your own way and make your own opportunities. But the secret is those opportunities are not always going to be given to thrown out right in front of your face. You know, the honors community does the best to send out newsletters saying, you know, here's this and here's that. But um, in order to really capture um, the college experience, you need to go out of your way to investigate that study abroad program, to investigate that you know documentary, to investigate that interdisciplinary studies or that um, directed independent studies program.